Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to 90 Second Tech Tips. I am Chuck Yarbrough from IT. Today's may run a little bit over because we've got a bigger topic to deal with here. Today I want to talk to you about phishing, uh, one of the most common forms of email scams. So if you're not familiar, um, a phishing attack is when a user tries to get access to some of your information. Uh, most often in emails, we do see them in texts and other things, but today we're going to be looking at emails specifically. But they're trying to get something from you that they can use to manipulate you or get access to something. They're looking to steal some sort of personal information. They're looking for login credentials, some sort of financial information. Um, they may also be looking to get you to install something on your computer. And for a lot of you, you don't have those rights without our admin access, which is a protection measure. But they may be looking for ways around that. Um, they may just be trying to get onto our network, which will give them access to other things there. So how do you address these types of issues? Let's take a look at a sample email. So what we have here is a phishing email. This is actually one that was sent to me. Uh, and it looks pretty straightforward. We have an account security issue. Uh, dear Western Union customer, thank you for using the service. So they're trying to make it sound like they've already used the service and they're happy to have us. Unfortunately, there is an issue here uh, and it needs to be dealt with. This is especially alerting here. Fast response. And they're asking me to log in. And it says they will need to provide a security answer in the last four digits of your credit card. Um, I don't use Western Union or I haven't in a very long time. But even if you had, there are some things that should alert you to this. Companies like Western Union, your banks, they are never going to send you emails where they'll ask you just to fill out something that generic that would give them access to your account. So when they say things like the last four digits of your credit card, Western Union would already have that information if I used it, and they wouldn't ask for it this way. They would ask you to log in to their system, and they'll, they'll do this in a very different way. Um, but I want to point out some other things here. You'll notice that when it says this is from Western Union, but it also says sent via and PSM and knowbefore.com. That has nothing to do with Western Union. That seems a little weird there, right? But this also quick request for a security answer and some fast timing. These are all things that should be an alert. If you get something like this and you have any question in your mind about its accuracy, please don't be afraid to forward it to one of us and ask us to look at it. I've also found that you can often just go out and Google Western Union and, and phishing or something along those lines, and you'll often see that hundreds or thousands of people have reported getting a similar email to this. Uh, some of the banks are even sending out alerts through bank apps to say, um, I know Wells Fargo just did this recently, hey, we've seen a lot of activity where people have been asking uh, customers to do this. That's not how we do this kind of business. And if you see those, let us know. So, not maybe the happy, happiest of uh, topics to cover, but help you kind of protect yourself and give you an idea of what to look forward to. More to come.